Okay, back in the kitchen now with uh, Christine, our happy cooking lady. Good morning. Great Good to morning. see you. Good morning. Happy New Year. You too. <laughs> Thank you so much. Uh, you know, uh, Christine makes the most adorable cutout cookies. You name the theme, uh, she's got a cookie cutter, cutter for it. Uh, she brought along some ice skates and some um, a nice log cabin cookies today. But how many cookie cutters do you have, Over lady? Over 600. Now. Wow, wow. So we've got a baby shower, a birthday party, a wedding, um, you name it. Um, contact Christine. And not, her cookies not only look really great, they taste good, too. Thank you. Well, thank you for coming. <laughs> well, speaking of cabin fever, oh, how fun is this? The kids get so bored. I think sometimes in the winter, especially on a snow day or a weekend day, and they, you know, yeah. nothing to do except TV and video games. I know, and you've got a, a bunch of grandkids, right? How yep. many now? Eight. Oh, wow! Eight. Wow! <laughs> so, um, what about making log cabins out of? Pretzels and and peanut butter and or frosting are we using frosting peanut Actually, butter. Actually, peanut butter. Mm -hmm. oh, this is just yeah. really fun. They can build it and then they can eat it and uh, get them away, like you said, from the video games for a little for bit. For a little bit, and it's a project that they can start and kind of come back to if, sure. if, if it, they get frustrated or bored or whatever, and it's not gonna fall apart or anything. Well, sure. it might fall apart if they, you know. <laughs> just but you know, it doesn't have to be perfect. Half the fun is making it, and just if they fun. can do Lincoln Logs and Legos and things like that, they can do these. So, okay, so first of all, we started with these little pretzel sticks. Yeah, the recipe said to use these, and I was thinking, you know, it might be fun to make one with those big pretzel rods and make one for Make like, a big log cabin. Make a big one for like, you know, a centerpiece in your dining room or sure. something. Put those little trees around it. Do a plate with some sugar for the we'll snow. We'll have to do that one next time, okay? <laughs> you work on that. Well, today we're going to do the mini version. We're going to do the mini one. Okay. Yeah. Well, what we do, we get ourselves a little plate. Okay. And um, the creamy peanut butter, you put about a cup of it either into one of the resealable bags, okay. you know, the old mm -hmm. push the stuff down, mm -hmm. or I, I've been using the, the inexpensive decorator gun mm -hmm. for this. Okay. So. And first thing we want to do, I have to kind of rest my elbow while we're doing this, is make two lines to kind of hold the first two toothpicks down. And it, it is a lengthy process, but it's one that, you know, you're supposed to be taking up the kids' time. During, right. You know, so right. it's... That's the point. And they, they get sick of coloring and oh, doing the same old thing. You things. can only do so much. Yeah. So that's our glue. The peanut butter's our glue. Right. So and you're going to you're gonna kind of do... And then you're going to do the mortar for the next batch. I did it all the way along to kind of help fill in the gaps a little bit. Because otherwise you got that gap in between the sure. log. And you're still going to have that. <laughs> Excuse me. So this like this? Yeah, and you're just going to continue that. And, and I do it as long as, the, the recipe said six, but it really depends on how, how, big thick, you want, how, yeah. well, how thick they are. Because what okay. you're going to want to do is you're going to want to make it up until the point where you can have a, a support so for do your... You, do you need a new line of peanut butter every time? Yeah. Okay, so let me, let's do this one more time because we've got a little bit of time to do this. Yeah, and so. you want to do it just high enough so that you, so your support will So back over here again like this? Right. Okay. So about six up is what this person. Yeah, the one the one that I ended up doing as my final one was about five layers. Okay, so just depends. Yeah. All right. So this one's to the six up. Yeah, this point or five. This one I think I have four, four on one side and five on the other. Okay, and then we take um, one of each pretzel. Do we need to glue this one down? Right, we're going to glue that one down, and those are going to be just the, the down on the bottom. Is that where we're going to put it? If it's easier if you put it right just on the put pretzel. It on the pretzel. Yeah. Okay. I'm all for doing things the easy way. That yeah, one's, that that one's was, already done. Yeah. Okay. And this is going to be the, can, like gonna, the beam. Think. Right. The, the kind of side support beam for the trusses. Okay. okay. Now you can either wait a little bit or what I did was I took um, two pretzels and I broke them in half. And okay. those are going to be your side supports. Okay. And then we'll need some more of the, the glue. The glue. glue. <laughs> it's always nice when your glue is edible. And I think, you know, you could do this with frosting if you wanted. Or um, Nutella it would but, be fun. Oh, fun. I know. Oh, um, oh my, my gosh. Ireland's favorite snack is um, she loves dipping pretzels in Nutella, which is like a chocolate hazelnut peanut oh, butter. Oh my gosh, yeah. that stuff is so good. I don't mm. dare keep that in the mm. house I because I will go through an entire jar mm. of that in a week if, if <laughs> given to me. I love hazelnut flavored anything. Mm -hmm. and so you're going to just kind of make your trusses on each side. Okay, so put the. That's why you got to kind of measure it as you're going up to make sure you've left enough room for sure. your little okay. presses. Now you could go all out with this. You could decorate it up, you know, like a gingerbread type thing with candies and stuff afterwards. But I kind of like the rusticness yeah, of just too. the Yeah, me too. Me too. Okay, so we got our trusses up. We got up, the trusses and they, up. All right. And then what now we're we need gonna, a roof. We need a roof. So what you're going to do is otherwise it'd be cold, real cold and very cold. <laughs> Air-conditioned cabin is not a good thing. 
might be in the summer, but not this time <laughs> of year. I'm putting peanut butter along the edges okay. of the trusses. And we just lay these babies? Yeah, and we just kind of start at whichever side you like and build up our roof. It took me about 10 minutes to put my first one together, but I got better at it as I went. And like you say, though, this is something we want the kids to, you to know, take if time. it takes hours, that's fine. And they could, if they get bored, get them playing, you know, get them to do something else and then come back to it. And then the reward is, you know, it's all about teaching them patience. I think it would be a fun project for a birthday party. Oh, yeah. You know, something like before or after skating or, right. you know, something what like that. What a great that. idea and inexpensive. I mean, pretzels right. and peanut butter. Right, and not that bad for the kids. Yeah. You know? it, well, very, oh, I love that. Now, we're not done yet. We need a little fire, right? We need a right? campfire. We need a campfire. So... You want to break a couple of those pretzels for me? I have a red fruit roll up that we're going to use for the flames. And we're going to put it in kind of a, a little circle of peanut butter in front of the house. Now you could go out, like I say, all out with this. You could make trees and put parsley on them. Right, and you, you right. know, you could do all kinds of fun sure. things. I've seen but. now um, snowman marshmallows. And there's so many cute things out there. So you can do your little... You were, are you a Cub Scout leader? No. Oh, well, you know what you're doing. Yeah, you, well, you had boys. Fun. You know how to. You know how to. Oh, I went camping a lot oh, okay. as a child. <laughs> oh, I was a Girl to... Scout too. So, okay, yeah. that's true. That's true. I really I honed too. those fire making skills. But then you're going to just take little pieces of the the red fruit roll up and put it in there for your your flames. Oh, and how cute. Or if you don't have a red fruit roll up and licorice, you maybe get licorice, or you could even use pieces of red pepper. You know, if you're if you've got that in the house or whatever you might oh, have for the fire. Okay, this is about the cutest thing ever. <laughs> I love this. This just makes me smile. They say don't play with your food. I say go for it. Oh, so good to see you. Well, actually, Christine's not going anywhere. She's got another recipe coming up. What are we making next time? We're gonna time? make some ice skate cookies. Oh, how fun! So, and these are easy. These real are easy. easy. A lot easier than this, but yeah. I still love this project. But <laughs> I'm picturing now the big one, the big log cabin with. Yeah, that would be neat, wouldn't it? Yeah, for a centerpiece, that would be fun. I guess that might be the Christmas centerpiece next year. Maybe, maybe. <laughs> Lots more great ideas when it comes to beating cabin fever coming up, so stay with us.